Hi everyone, welcome to Be Balanced. So, we're gonna start this class by getting a little warmed up. Uh, make sure you have a nice sturdy chair and you can actually try to do this in your bare feet, but if you're not uh, real stable, then I would suggest you wear your tennis shoes uh, or something that's not slippery. All right, so we're just gonna start just kind of like lifting heel to heel, heel and heel. So I'm just popping my heels up, alternating legs. Four, three, two, one. Good, I feel that in my calves already. All right, so we're gonna go to marching. So I just want you to don't do anything crazy. We're just lifting up these knees, okay? Swinging those arms. Not really working on raising our heart rate. We're just pretty much working on warming up those hip flexors. All right, four, three, two, one. Good, okay. So what I want you to do is just cross your left leg over, all right, so it's nice and comfortable, and then just start making uh, circles with your ankles. We're rolling those ankles in one direction. Good, okay, reverse the direction. You might hear some cracking. It's okay, as long as it doesn't hurt. And that's good. All right, uncross, other leg over. Okay, so it's nice and comfortable. That leg's just hanging there nice and limp. Just start drawing circles. Good. Can you feel that warming up in that ankle? And go ahead and reverse the direction. You should be feeling that ankle warming up. That's really good for it. And good, okay. All right, let's just work on these knees a little bit. So I just want you to kind of swing your left leg. So make sure you flex that foot you're just letting that knee swing. It's kind, of, it's kind of like oiling a joint, right? So we're just oiling that knee joint. Four more, four, three, two, one. Okay, other leg. So just pick it up, flex that foot, just kind of swing that leg, oiling up that knee. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Good. All right. We're gonna oil those hip joints now. So what I want you to do is sitting up nice and tall, go ahead and with your hands, grab that left thigh and then just create circles. Just like this kind of like we're trying to draw a circle with our kneecap. One more this direction. All right, let's take it the other way. I know it looks kind of funny. It's really good for your hip. We're just oiling up that joint, lubricating it, getting it ready. One more and drop that leg other side. So taking your hands, grabbing under that thigh of that right leg, drawing circles with those knees. So with balance, make sure everything that you want to try, you are stable enough to try. One more circle this direction. Okay, let's go the other way. If you feel unstable, dizzy, lightheaded. Make sure you have a chair that you can sit down on or something that you can hold. One more. Good. Okay. 
Um, next one, we're gonna do torso leans. So we've got all of these things kind of warmed up. We're gonna do some torso leans. So make sure your feet are flat on the ground. Hands are gonna come on your hips. Pull that spine up nice and tall. So we're pulling in the belly, kind of lifting that head up. And I just want you to lean forward, keeping your back flat, lean forward. Now, start to bring that torso to the left and around the back, over to the right, back forward. So we're just going to lean all the way around. You're gonna feel this in your core. Okay. We're creating awareness of our torso. Good, so we're gonna come back to the front, lift straight back up. Now we're gonna do it the other direction. So nice tall spine, pull your belly in, hinge forward, and now torso circles the opposite direction. You'll feel your center of gravity shifting, so you're using a little bit of balance. If you weren't, you'd slip right out of that seat when you're leaning. So you're definitely using balance, so good for you. One more circle. We'll stop when we get to the front and come up straight to neutral seat position. All right, heels to toes. So we've talked about how important it is to have nice strong calves, all right? When you are standing and you're leaning forward to take your step, those calves are being called into action. They're preventing you from whoop, flipping right over. So we're just gonna work on the calves and the shins. So I want you to lift your heels, drop, lift the toes and heels and toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes. Keep going. Heels, toes, heels, toes. Four more. Four, three, two, one more time, and toes. Drop it down. Good. All right. Uh, we're going to work on a toe spread. The reason we're gonna do this is because yesterday in my garage, I was standing up and taking off one of my sandals that I had to do the Velcro to unhook it. So I was balancing on one leg. And for a minute I was getting kind of wobbly and I thought, what in the world? And then my brain told my foot to kind of grab that floor. Once I did that, my balance improved immediately. So my body was trying to balance, but I wasn't really pulling my foot into action. When I called my foot into action, I was able to gain my balance. So think about that when you're standing and you're moving and you're trying to balance. Take those feet and really engage them into the ground. That's why we do a lot of foot strengtheners. So tune into the small movers when we do feet, which is every other Monday, because we are working those feet muscles. All right, so what I want you to do right now, you can't really see, actually, I'm gonna take off my one shoe. So pushing your ball of your foot in the ground, pick up all of your toes and just spread them out. We're holding it for about five seconds. Drop it down. Let's do that again. Pick up the toes and spread them out. So you're doing this in both feet at the same time. You just can't see my other toes probably. And drop it down. Pick up the toes and spread them out. So we're bringing awareness to our feet from our brain. Drop it down. Pick up those toes, spread them out. We're also strengthening those feet Drop it down one more time. Pick up, spread those toes, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, I'm gonna put my shoe on. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to, usually we do chair squats at this point. But today, we're gonna to be doing an exercise where we're standing up and taking a step, stepping back, sitting down. So you're gonna get a lot of exercise with standing up and sitting down, all right? If you are unstable, you may have the arm of your sofa, maybe a counter, something to help you when you stand up. If you are wobbly, you can kind of lay your hand on there and catch your balance. All right, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? We're seated in our chair. We're gonna stand up. You can use your hands on your legs if you want to. Stand up. We're gonna immediately take a step with our right leg. One step forward, bring it back, and sit down, okay? So let's try that. All right, ready? Stand up, take a step forward with that right leg, bring it back, and sit down. Again, stand up, take a step with the right leg, come back, sit down. One more time. Stand up, take a step, come back, sit down. All right, how was that? Hopefully it was good. Okay, other leg. So left leg, we're gonna stand up, take a step forward with our left leg, return and sit down. If you wanna work on strength, you can try to stand up and sit down without your hands, like this. So stand up, left leg forward, come back, Sit down, okay, and stand up, step forward, step back, sit down. Two more times, stand up, step forward, step back, sit down, one more time, stand up, step forward, step back, and sit down, okay? Hope you, hope you did that uh, pretty well. I know that it's tiring because we're doing a lot of standing and sitting. All right, so the next one, we're gonna actually stand up and pivot. So it's like we are getting out of our seat and having to make a quick turn, either direction. All right, so the first one we're gonna do is we're gonna stand up we're gonna step with our left foot to the left, okay? So it will look like this. Stand up, taking my left foot, and I'm turning to the left. Now I'm just gonna return. Come back and sit down. Now, if you have a walker, uh, a walking stick, any kind of counter, if you wanna have that there for yourself, that would be great if you don't feel comfortable taking that step to the side. This is a tricky one. Or you can just relax and hang out for the next few minutes. Or you can try the one where you just stand up and take a step forward. Otherwise, here we go, okay? Stand up, left forward to the left. Return, sit down, okay? Let's do that one again. Stand up, left forward steps to the left, come back, sit down, okay? One more time, if you want that challenge, one more time. Stand up, left forward, turning to the left, Come back, sit down, okay? All right, next one. Same thing, other direction. So we're gonna stand up, we're gonna step with our right, for, right foot to the right. So we're pivoting to the right, and then we're gonna return to our chair, okay? So it will look like this. Stand up, right leg, pivot to the right, Come back, sit down, okay? All right, if 
if you want to join me, here we go. Stand up, right leg, pivot to the right, come back, sit down. We'll try that two more times. Stand up, pivot to the right, come back, sit down. One more time. Stand up, pivot to the right, step back, and sit down. Good, I hope that you had an, an easy time with that. I know it's not easy, um, but hopefully you were able to try those. And that's something you can practice uh, even when you're standing up from the table, stand up from the table and, you know, maybe try to pivot a different direction. Have something there that you can grab onto just in case. All right. Um, let's see. We're going to get out of our chair now. All right. So everybody stand up. Okay. I'm going to come to the side of my chair. I've got to move here, move my seat. So you might want to practice this where you have something to hold on to. So behind a sofa works really well. If you have space behind a sofa, along a table works really well. That way, or your kitchen counter, you have where you can go a couple steps and still have something that you can lay your hand on. All right. I'm just going to do it in front here so you can see me. We're just going to walk toe, heel, toe, heel. Okay. So I'm pretending I'm holding on to something or even just having something there just in case, okay? So when you're doing this, I want you to pull your belly in, keep your shoulders down and see if you can keep your chin parallel with the ground. So you're not doing this. Keep that chin parallel with the ground. Use your eyes to scan the floor in front of you. All right, so here we go. Toe in front of heel, just like we're walking on a tightrope, okay? So I want you to just practice this. Once you get to the end, turn around and go back. Okay, toe to heel walking. Keeping your chin level with the ground keeping your eyes scanning the ground in front of you, tightrope walking, keep that spine nice and tall. Okay, I'm gonna go back to this end and then relax. Okay, that's a simple one that you can practice at home. Um, we're going to do a tiptoe exercise. So standing on the left side of your chair, okay, feet are hips width distance apart, belly is in, chin is parallel with the ground, right hand is light, lightly laying on the top or the back of your chair, counter, whatever you're using. All we're gonna do is we're gonna come up on our tiptoes. You don't have to lift your heels up very high. We're doing this as a balance exercise. If you wanna bring that left arm out, shoulder height, you can do that. If you need a challenge, you can put a finger on the back of that chair or even try to let go. Five more seconds, five, four, Three, two, one. Come down. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. So shake those knees a little bit. Remember to keep your knees soft. We don't ever want to lock our knees. All right, here we go. Pull the belly in, spine nice and tall, chin parallel with the ground. Come on up on those tiptoes as high as you're comfortable. You can bring that left arm out to a T. Stay here or go to a finger 
or you can let go with that right hand if you have your balance. We're gonna hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Good. Okay, let's try balancing on one foot. So we're just going to shift our weight into that right leg. Keep that right knee soft. Lift up the left knee. Doesn't have to come up high. You can bring that left arm to a T. We're balancing on one foot. If you need to put this toe down, this left toe down, you can. If you need more of a challenge, go to a finger on the back of that chair or let go of it. Now remember what I said about grounding that foot? Think about that. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay, let's go to the other side of the chair. All right. Instead of doing tiptoes on this side, we're gonna do tiptoe to heel, tiptoe to heel. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna bring my right arm out to a T. I'm gonna come up on both tiptoes. Then I'm gonna drop my heels, hinge at my hip flexors and come up on my heel or yeah, Bring my toes up so I'm only on my heels. Dropping my toes, lifting my heels, dropping my heels, lifting my toes. You have to kind of push those, that tush out behind you to get your balance. Drop those toes, lift the heels. Drop the heels, lift the toes. Notice how you have to change that center of gravity. Drop the toes, lift the heels. Drop the heels, lift the toes. Let's do that one more time, both ways. Drop the toes, lift the heels. Drop the heels, lift the toes. And relax. Okay. One-legged stance on this side. So shift your weight into that left leg. Keep that knee soft. Hands lightly resting on the back of the chair. Right arm can come out to a T. Lift the right knee. As high up as you want, as low as you want. You can have that toe in the ground if you want to kickstand that foot. Otherwise, lift it off the ground. Soft knee. Now engage your foot. See, makes a little bit of a difference when you bring awareness to the bottom of that foot. You need more challenge, go to a finger on the back of that chair or let go. Good, keep breathing. Five more seconds, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Awesome. Okay, let me check my notes here. <laughs> All right, going to the back of the chair. I'm going to turn mine kind of at a 45 degree angle so you can see what I'm doing. At the beginning of this class, I talked about the importance of having strong calves, okay? We're gonna do that forward lean exercise. So we're standing right behind our chair. Hands are lightly on the back of the seat. I want your body to be in a plank position, which means a straight board, okay? Then I want that board to start leaning forward. As soon as you do that, your calves are working hard to keep you from falling all the way forward. Your calves and your feet come back to center. All right, let's do that again. So leaning forward, your body's in a plank. The front of our feet are working, our arches are working, our calves are working. 
keep it there and come back. All right. Let's do that one more time. Leaning forward, bring those feet into action, calves, ankles, it's all working right here. You want to try to lift those hands up a little bit, you can, if you need that challenge. Let's hold it for five, four, three, two, one, relax. Good. If you let go, you really feel that working those feet and those calves. That's another one that you can try and practice on your own. You could even try that every day. All right. Um, we're going to do one more exercise, balance exercise. We're going to do that three knee march and hold. So it looks like this. You can have your hand on the back of the chair, or you can try to not have it on there if you have your stability. We're just going to march one, two, three, and hold. And one, two, three, and hold. So join me whenever you're ready. One, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and hold. So we're stopping that momentum. One, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, hold. Let's do it two more times. One, two, three, and hold. Last one. One, two, three, and hold. And drop it down. Good job, everybody. All right, let's do some stretching. So go ahead and have a seat. All right, we're gonna bring both of our feet in front. So heels are digging into the ground, toes are pointing towards the sky. My knees are a little bent. Pull my belly in, lift that spine like someone's got a string at the top of your head. So your uh, back is nice and flat. Bring those arms forward, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Now start pulling those hands forward, forward, forward until you feel that stretch in the backs of those legs. Once you feel the stretch, drop your hands, but keep your torso where it is. Good, continue to breathe. So we're giving it enough time, it. We're giving that oxygenated blood enough time to seep in there, into those muscles, helping them to remain nice and supple. You may feel your torso sinking forward as those muscles get longer. That's a good thing. And let's come up from that. All right, hips. Can't forget those hips, cross that leg. Now remember, if you can't get this leg up here, cross it down here at your ankle. Otherwise, up on the ankle over the thigh, nice tall spine, pull the belly in and hinge forward. Some days you're gonna be really tight. That's me today, for some reason. My hips are really tight. Some days it's gonna be a little easier Continue to breathe when you're stretching. You should be feeling this right here in the hip. Pull that lower belly forward if that's not where you're feeling it. And let's come up from that side. Drop that leg down. Let's bring that other leg over. Okay. Nice tall spine and hinge forward. Hope everyone's having a good day today. I almost got blown away coming in this morning. It's so windy. All right. One more breath here. And come on up. Good. 
All right, let's twist our spine a little bit. So spread those feet out, just an inch or two. Bring both hands to the right side of your leg in your chair, lengthen that spine, and then begin to just gently turn those shoulders to the right. Keep turning with your head, as long as that doesn't hurt your neck. And breathe. One more inhale here. Exhale as you unwind. Good, coming through center. Now we're gonna go to the other side. Hands on the other side of the chair and the leg. Nice tall spine. Begin twisting, turning those shoulders to the left. Continue with that head, looking over that shoulder. One more inhale here. Exhale and come out of it. Good. All right. Let's bring our hands together. Interlace those fingers. Lift up, up, up. Flip those hands inside out, overhead, and behind that head if you can get them that far, and then bring them back down. We'll do that two more times. So lifting up, flipping those hands, and pulling them behind. It should feel good, a nice stretch through that whole core. One more, lift up, Flip those hands inside out, pull that back, and return. Good, all right, let's finish up with three deep breaths, and inhale, fill those lungs. Exhale, blow it out. And again, inhale. Exhale. Third and deepest inhale. And blow it all out. Nice job, everybody. Thank you for joining me with, for Be Balanced. I will hopefully see you somewhere soon in the halls or maybe one of these days back in class. That would be wonderful. All right, have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye.